Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to RC Insiders. I'm going to do a quick little review here of a torque wrench. It's a torque wrench that I've been wanting for a long time. If you've been with us for a while, you know we do a lot of automotive work here in the old shed. Um, wanted, uh, I, I, I have torque wrenches, but I've always wanted a digital torque wrench. And I think this one's going to fit the bill for most of my needs. Um, this is from the brand name Suzume. If you haven't heard of them, uh, go ahead and give them a look. They, they have a full line of automotive tools, um, not just necessarily automotive. Um, you know, everything you can think of that you would need a torque wrench for, they have, they have a wrench for it. Anywhere from quarter inch drive all the way to half inch drive. Um, this one is a three inch, three eighth drive, which is going to, it's going to um, satisfy most of my requirements, you know, working here in the, in the shed with uh, doing automotive work. I do a lot of brake work, um, stuff like that, that requires that you get specific torque. So this one is supposed to be very accurate within plus or minus 2%. Um, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the wrench. Like I said, this is a 3 8 3 8 drive digital torque wrench and this one is from anything from five foot pounds all the way up to a hundred foot pounds of torque um, that covers a wide range of automotive use um, like I said it's going to take care of most of my stuff it's a good quality vandium steel um, nice grip on it fits my big old meaty hands pretty well um, good looking finish on it has a 72 tooth ratchet on it which is already a, a high quality ratchet without even being a torque wrench. Um, one thing that you guys always want to look for when you're buying, if you are, you happen to buy a torque wrench, any brand you buy, whatever, if it doesn't come with a certification of calibration, don't even touch it, don't even, don't even consider it because more than likely it was never calibrated. So this is Suzume's certificate of calibration report. They'll give you all the information that you need um, most of these wrenches, well, all their wrenches go through a 20,000 uh, time test for each wrench, and their accuracy is always going to be within plus or minus two two percent. So, if you can actually look at this one when they did their uh, when they did their tests on it, most of their errors were 0 0.27, 1, 0 0.46, which is good, good, good quality. Um, that's what you expect in like a snap-on brown. Um, speaking of snap-on, yeah, snap-on makes some good tools. Snap-on is also going to sell you this wrench for about four to six hundred dollars. This wrench is going to run you under sixty usually, or right around sixty. So that was uh, I. I wanted a good quality torque wrench, and I did not want to pay five hundred bucks for it. Was not going to pay five hundred bucks for it. Um, of course, it comes with an operating manual. Um, this is going to give you a lot of everything that you need to know about operating it. If you're not familiar with torque wrenches, um, this will this will basically give you everything you need to know. And that's their line of torque wrenches. There, like I said, anywhere from quarter inch all the way to half inch drive. If you got some. Um, uh, big lug nuts or you know stuff like that you need to torque you might want to check out their half inch drive torque wrench I went 3 8 so it's right in the middle um, and like I said this is going to just walk you through all the information that you need to know there is a lot of settings on it we'll go through some of the features right now we'll go ahead and turn this thing on by pressing that little C button clean off the screen there so what a unique feature that I like about it is it has a peak mode and it has a track mode. So in track mode, you're actually going to be able to watch your um, torque readings increase as you apply pressure. When you have it in peak mode, it's going to go all the way until you hit your peak and it's going to give you an audible, audible beep and a red light. So you also get visual cues of what's going on with your torque. And that peak mode, it'll stay there until you reset it. With track mode, it will actually, um, it'll go up and down with your readings. And then that, to get to that, you just press that U button. And that's going to give you your modes. So right now we're in peak mode. And I'll turn that, it also has a cool backlight on there. 
We'll turn that backlight on once we get out of here. We're on peak mode and then there's track mode, which I like using track mode. That way I can watch the torque as it comes. So back to peak mode and there's that backlight I was telling you about. So it makes the uh, digital readouts nice and easy to see. And then also right there you can see that it has a battery indicator. We'll go back to this mode, press the C button, and that's reset and ready to use. Let me go back to mode. And then you, oh, also it has a, a data storage in there so you can keep track of, of all your uh, settings. It makes it easy, like if you're doing something that you use this wrench for all the time, you can put in into your uh, data there and then you can just recall it and then you can see them there. We are in peak mode and we are set to foot pounds. And also it has four four different readings for torque. You got your newton meters, you got your kilograms to centimeters, you got your inch pounds, so it's very delicate. You can go into inch pounds and then of course foot pounds, which is 99.9% .9 of the time I'm going to be using inch pounds. And this, these little buttons right here, these up and down buttons, that's how you set your torque. And like I said, you can see it into hundreds, so it's very, very accurate and precise. Now if you hold that button down, the numbers start to move very quickly. And like I said, you can get anywhere from 5 foot-pounds all the way up to 100 foot-pounds with this particular wrench. And then like I said, you want to just go a little bit at a time, you can do it that way. Very precise instrument. So I got a couple core support bolts over here on the Jeep that um, I need to get tightened back to spec. And I believe they're right around 16 foot pounds. Um, automotive work, this is, this is a must have. Um, I went for years without using torque wrenches. Bad idea. I can't tell you how many bolts I've broken, how many bolts I've stripped, how many bolts have later come loose. So having a torque wrench, a uh, big, big must-have for automotive work. I, I promise you this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. <laughs> um, the ratcheting, like I said, the ratcheting on it by itself, I mean, that's already a nice ratchet without even being a torque wrench. And yes, it is reversible. And I believe the reverse torque accuracy rating on it was plus or minus 3% in reverse. Go back to forward, plus or minus 2% which is, is really, really precise. Like I said, that's something you're gonna find on five and $600 torque wrenches. Um, good, good unit. So give me a minute here. We'll head over to the Jeep we're working on today and we'll get those bolts tightened up and we'll show you how, how this thing actually works. See you in a minute. All right guys, so after taking that core support out on a big job, so we're gonna basically, we're gonna torque these bolts back to the spec, which I believe was uh, 16 foot pounds. Or Jeep so again we're going to go into mode and like I said I like to use uh, track mode so I'll show you how that works and then we're gonna set our foot pounds remember I'm on the foot pound setting and I believe like I said that was 16 and you can see how quickly the numbers move if you just hold that button down and then if you want to be super precise, you use one at a time, right? All the way into the hundreds. So get this set back up to 16 foot pounds. Okay, and then we're going to press that C button one more time. It'll calibrate itself to 16 foot pounds. So if you can see down on there. So we're in track mode. So now we'll start being able to see real-time foot-pound torque readings. You can see it going up as I apply more pressure to it. It's another good thing is you only need five degrees of movement 
to get a click. You hear that click in your ratchet? So you can get in some real tight spaces like that. So you see once we get the 85 to 90 percent, you'll start hearing audio and visual cues, letting you know you're getting close. And then when we hit 16 foot-pounds, should, we should go right to a red and an audible beep. Red beep, that means we're set at 16 foot-pounds. I'll do this one again here real quick. There's our real-time tracking of torque. This makes this thing super cool and super easy to use. And like I said, most of your stuff on an engine, 100 foot-pounds is going to be plenty enough and 5 foot-pounds is going to be enough. So again, at 85 to 90 percent, we should start getting that first visual and audio cue with the green light beeping. And then once we get to our 16 foot-pounds, be closer. Sixteen foot pounds. You got the red light and you got the audible beep, right? So now we'll switch it over to peak mode. I'm new at this too, but man, am I liking it? We'll go to mode, track, and then we'll switch it over to peak. No, that didn't work. Mode, track, peak. Then we'll go back to clear. Now we're in peak mode. Now again, you can set your values when you're in peak mode. So we'll set that at 16 and we'll go to the other side here. Now we won't be able to track real time, but I'll just show you how the peak mode works. So now we won't get no, we won't get a cue until we get to peak mode. Calibrated. And it's actually, a, still giving you real-time tracking our audible cues coming 16 now that reading is going to stay there and you can record that in your data so I went a little bit over but I'm okay with that and it's going to stay there on your screen until you clear it and then we'll be ready again to go really 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 nice setup <laughs> I wish I really wish I would have bought these <laughs> like something like this 20 years ago we're getting close 16 foot pounds and then like I said that's gonna stay until clear on peak mode and you can record that also if you want so like I said again one more time mode I like using it in tracking because that's just what I leave it on. I don't really record that much. 16 foot pounds. Push that C to calibrate. And it's really cool, guys. You just, it's really cool getting that real time tracking on your torque. So the more you put on it, the more it goes up. And the visual cues, pretty awesome. So pretty pretty good little uh, wrench here, guys. Um, if you if you do even like a moderate amount of automotive work or you know bicycle work or motorcycle work or whatever it is, you probably are going to want to invest <laughs> in a torque wrench. It's going to make your life easier. It's going to make things safer. You're not going to strip so many bolts. You're not going to break so many bolts. Um, Sazoom, like I said, the Sazoom. This is the 3 8 This is perfect for, you know, basically all your engine work. Um, they do make a smaller quarter inch one and they do make a uh, half inch drive one. Like if you got some, if you got some major torque to do, like, like that guy out there he, on that motorcycle, he, he can get away with the 3 8 torque wrench, right? But if you got some bigger stuff, they do offer a full line. Um, so Zoom has uh, like uh, ratcheting wrenches. They have all kinds of tools. so. I'll link to this wrench and you know when you're in there on Amazon go ahead and check out Suzum, check out some of their tools. Uh, the 3.8 3H drive um, torque wrench 
from five foot pounds to a uh, hundred foot pounds. Uh, definitely two thumbs up on this one. I'm um, looking forward to putting this thing to use. And you know, if any issues arise, I'll keep you updated. All right guys, until next time, happy bashing.